Hi everyone, Miss Pratt here, and I had a request to learn how to draw seals, and so I've been practicing in my sketchbook, and this is what I have right now. Neither of them are finished, this is just kind of some rough sketches I've done, but we're going to try and draw both examples. So what you need is either a pencil, a marker, or a crown, something to draw with, and then if you are one of my kiddos who has a sketchbook, you can use your sketchbook. If not, you can just use a blank piece of paper. Okay, we'll start with this one, the one that's setting up, and then we'll move to the one that's swimming. Okay, so I'm just going to work on the other side of my sketchbook. All right, and what I'm going to do to start with is I'm going to use my black. Most seals are kind of gray, um, but I don't have a gray marker, so we're going to work with what we have. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the top of his head. So basically that's like a big, it's like a big N without the line next to it, okay? Then we're going to do his front flippers. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a line on the inside, on both sides, coming down a little bit. And we're going to do a funny line sticking out okay and then we're going to curve that back around and up okay we're going to do the same thing on the other side we're going to do a funny line coming out and curving back up all right now it doesn't have to be perfect mine is not perfect okay now what we're going to do is we need to connect the bottom of his body. So what we're going to do is we're going to curve this around and connect it, just like that. And then we have to do his tail. So it's going to stick out a little bit on this side. And you're going to see most of it on the other side. Okay. Now, you really can't tell it's a tail, but that's okay. All right. He needs two eyes, oval shaped. You can make them a little bigger if you want to. He needs a triangle nose. It's going to be colored in. And then lines coming down for the mouth. We've got that. And we're going to connect them and add some whiskers. Okay. So there's our other seal. And what you can do now is you can decide if you're going to decorate the background. So normally you see uh, seals on like this when they're on rocks or sand so you could add some brown maybe for some rocks if you have a yellow and you want it to make him look like he's on sand you could do that or you could combine the two and have a little bit of sand and a little bit of rock Okay, it's probably at the ocean, so you could have the ocean behind him. And then you could always have the sun up above him, shining in the sky. There could be a pretty sunset behind of him. There could even be some boats in the water. So you create what you want your seal to look like and where you want him to be living at. Okay? You could decorate as much or as little as you want to. Alright, 
And since I used up most of that paper, I am going to use the back of my other paper to make my next seal. Okay. Actually, we'll just go to the inside. So I also, I have came up with a third way to draw our seal. Okay. But we'll go ahead and we'll draw the uh, seal swimming, and then I'll show you how you're going to draw this one. Okay. So I'm going to use my black again. And what you want to do is just like we did on our first one, you're going to do a curved line, but this one's not going to be standing up straight like an N. It's going to be leaning over sideways because our seal is sideways because he's swimming. Okay, go ahead and do your sideways in. And I'm going over my lines so they're nice and dark. Now he needs his flippers. So these almost look like eyes. They're that angular shape. So you're going to do one curved line. It's going to reach a point and then it's going to come back. But they're not going to touch at the one end. Okay, they touch here, but not here. Same thing on the other side. I'll make a point. Go from that point back in. And now we get to make his body. So his body is almost like a mermaid's body. Okay. The only difference is seals are a little bit um, bigger. They have to have uh, some blubber to keep them warm. So they're not quite as skinny. And draw a line that's wider towards his flippers and gets skinnier as it goes back. Okay, then you get to add his tail. So, similar to his flippers, it's going to come to a point. So, we're going to have one point on one end, and then this is where it gets a little different. It's going to come to the point on both sides, and then it's going to meet in the middle like that. Okay. Now we need to go ahead and add his two eyes, his triangle nose, his mouth, and his little whiskers. All right. Now we're going to quickly go over this way. This way is pretty simple, not hard at all. All you're going to do is you're going to do, it looks almost like a roller coaster ride, okay? It's not like the end that we did for his head. It's kind of like a roller coaster. Okay, so you're going to come, you're going to start at the bottom. It's going to slowly go up, 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 up. You're reaching the top, and then you're going back down. Just like that. Then he needs two eyes. And then this one's nose is just a little bit different. You're going to have your triangle nose. But instead of doing the two lines for his mouth, what you're going to do is you're going to go from the corners of his, or the edges of his nose, you're going to do a curve from one corner to the other. And same thing on the other side. You're going to go from the top edge down to the bottom edge. And then you're going to add a little curve down here at the bottom. Okay, now you get to add his whiskers. Now you get to color in the ocean. So you can have some blues, some greens. For the seal that is swimming, you could have some bubbles floating around. Okay, so you get to design your seal, uh, your seal's uh, habitat and where he's living. If he's in the ocean and there's um, other animals around him, if he's eating something, you could add that. But you get to decorate it and decide what it's going to look like. Okay? So I hope you enjoyed this lesson. You can always color in your seal. Um, but that was three different ways to draw a seal, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. All right. Bye.